Judy Markley's part 1 and 2 were great episodes. And if you disagree, then you're entirely wrong. Um, eh. that's not a good way to start a video. Uh, what? Where do you people keep coming from? This would be my video! Well, technically it's our video since you kind of agreed to collab. I don't remember signing any papers. Any contracts. Actually, hang on. Did you like these episodes? Yee. Yeah. Okay, fine, let's do this. I've often found myself thinking that the show was not going to be able to top itself, but I'm glad to say that I've been proven wrong every single time, and with these episodes, it was no different. The staff at DHX proves once again that they aren't afraid to explore new ideas in the world of MLP. The very start of the episode is meant to establish the purpose of the castle and present the role that it is meant to play throughout the rest of the season. As it was explained during the season 4 finale, Twilight's role as a princess is to help spread friendship across Equestria. Thus, the castle, as well as its map, is meant to inform the main six when there is a problem somewhere in Equestria where friendship is currently being threatened or where it needs to be introduced. After having Twilight do practically nothing with her new title in Season 4, it's great to see the writers finally using this to its full potential. It's evident in the way that Twilight spoke to her friends at the start of the episode that she now has confidence and authority in her position as she convinces her friends to go and check out where the map was sending them. It may be subtle, but the writer's attempt to grow her character is certainly there and I can't wait to see how Twilight uses her past experiences and the magic of friendship to help the ponies throughout Equestria. You know, now that you say that, I agree. But one of the things I appreciated myself was the antagonist. Starlight Glimmer is an unusually different approach to what we're used to seeing in the world of MLP. In the past of all the seasons, openings and finales featuring an antagonist, they've always been some kind of horrific beast or monster that is evil just for the sake of being evil. Starlight Glimmer, on the other hoof, is a pony. You know, an ancient beast related to dark magic with intents of destroying the land. And it's almost a breath of fresh air compared to the generic copy and paste villains we've grown used to. I even found it kind of hilarious that even the main six were expecting some sort of horrific monster, as it shows that the writers were aware of the problem and they wanted to change the formula that we were all used to. Now, her plan being to remove the other ponies' cutie marks to force equality is also good, because unlike the other villains of MLP, she actually had a reason to why she was doing, well, what she was doing. And it's not just for herself this time. Unlike other villains who just wanted to gain power for themselves, Starlight Glimmer chose to do what she did because she genuinely believed that her cause was for the best. And because of this, I can't wait to see how she shows up in future episodes. One of the things that surprised me was the fact that the main six weren't the ones who solved the problem. And to me, it showed reference to an earlier episode from the show where sometimes you can't do everything on your own and you need help from others. It also added a new dimension to the background ponies in MLP, showing that they are also perfectly capable of defending themselves and helping during a crisis. I was also impressed by the fact that the villain actually managed to get away, showing much potential for later episodes in the season. Given the background characters' importance instead of having them be outshone by the main six, as well as treating the antagonist with in-depth character traits and bigger motives was just a cherry on top of an already great treat. But I think another thing that really makes it stand out is the moral, as the two-parters that we've seen so far in the show haven't really tried to teach a unique and new message. Most shows treat equality as a good thing, so portraying the idea in an almost negative way was a very brave direction to take. Luckily, the show deals with it exceptionally well. It teaches kids to accept ponies' differences, and just because some may disagree, it doesn't mean you can't be friends. It also explains the dangers of taking things too far. If you have to put yourself down to be on the same level as others, that's not good. But it's also wrong to show yourself better than others if you know it's going to hurt them. Oh wow, you so smart. Not really. But anyway, focusing on the song now. The point of it was to be unnerving in a sense to the audience, while still having a deceptively pleasant tune. And in this aspect, it succeeded. I found myself legitimately creeped out by it. With the odd smiles and the military-like marching and lineups, it was unique, and it's unlike most of the stuff the show has done before. Exactly! As we've stated many times now, the first two episodes of Season 5 were flawless, as the episode not only dealt with a mature subject with ease, but it also opened up the door for many new possibilities. With that said, thanks for watching. Whoa, 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 hang on. Just because the episodes were good, and I mean very good, doesn't mean they were flawless. Oh, you're one of those people. You traitor, leave my presence! Oh, okay, see you later, man. Oh no! 
What have I done? That could have been an important connection I just lost. Wait! Come back. Oh, okay, sure. I'll come back. I'm sorry, I was just teasing you. Like a little joke, you know. Here, feel free to explain what parts you didn't like and I'll tell you exactly why you're wrong. Well, for one thing, Twilight is once again the main character of the episodes, thus giving her friends a pretty small role. The plot could have been easily worked with just a couple of them. That's true, but- And what's the deal with Spike? The little gag at the start of the premiere was just an excuse to leave Spike out of the episode. These are just nit- The writers knew the idea falls apart with him being there. Also, the story would have played out better had Starlight not been hinted as the antagonist, what with forcing the gang to live without their cutie marks. What? Would you have preferred they willingly give up their cutie marks? It's highly unlikely that they would give them up considering all the adventures they've been on. It would have been even worse if they had forgotten all that they learned in one episode. No, no, no. Now you're just misunderstanding. We're talking about Starlight here. I'm saying how do you explain the fact that Starlight Glimmer forced the other ponies to give up their cutie marks when she didn't give up her own? It clearly makes her a hypocritical antagonist. Well, Had she been equalized, it would have shown that she truly believed in her cause, making the viewer connect with her just that much more. She did believe in it. There's just no way she could have done it without her magic. Then why lie about the staff in the first place? That's not the point. The problem that Starlight Glimmer had with the cutie marks was that depending on your cutie mark and special talent, you could be destined to do better things than others. You removed this injustice by removing the pony's talents, making everyone equally as important as you. <sighs> Look, I'm not saying these episodes are bad in any way. I'm just stating the fact that, like every episode of every show, it has its problems. And what I'm trying to say is that looking into things in depth is good, but sometimes it's better to leave a few questions unanswered for the sake of mystery and time constraints. And I'm just saying, that's completely irrelevant, as many problems could have been tweaked easily. Well, I'm just inferring that you're pompously nettlesome. You know, Neon, I think that we could both learn something from these episodes. Uh, yeah, you could say that. I think we should both learn that sometimes... Your opinion should be equal to mine!